The first mobility trials for Challenger 3, the British Army's new main battle tank, have been completed, marking significant progress in the program. Conducted by Rheinmetall Bay Systems Land, RBSL, alongside the Authority and Kinetic at multiple UK locations, the tests covered a total of 789 kilometers across road and cross-country terrain. The trials aimed to gather data on the platform's noise and vibration, its interface with the crew, and the effect of vibration on ammunition inside the pre-production vehicle. The data will inform refinements to ensure the vehicle meets customer requirements and will be used to program a turret test rig at Telford, contributing to reliability growth trials from 2026. These exercises provided opportunities for the RBSL trials team, including experienced engineers and former Challenger 2 crew commanders, to gather evidence and subjective user feedback. Trials are a critical stage in developing a new armored vehicle, pushing our main battle tank to the limits to prove its performance and capability, said Dean Pask, Challenger 3 program director at RBSL. The Challenger 3 program is in its demonstration phase, during which pre-production vehicles from RBSL's Telford facility undergo a series of trials. Earlier in 2024, uncrewed live firing was successfully completed, with the latest trials also covering crew evacuation, radar cross-section and indirect vision systems. The next phase will prepare for crewed live firing to demonstrate safe operation and advance weapon system development. These steps will lead into reliability growth trials and the System Qualification Review SQR, which will confirm the final manufacturing standard for the remaining tanks. With all 148 Challenger 3 vehicles planned to be in service by the end of 2030, the program is set to deliver a step change in reliable capability. The £800 million plus contract is creating 300 jobs at RBSL and 450 more across the UK, supported by £40 million inward investment in Telford and a supply chain largely made up of skilled UK-based SMEs. Challenger 3 will be equipped with a next-generation modular armor system, designed to enhance survivability and modernize the UK's land forces. The program highlights collaboration between Britain's allies and leading vehicle systems suppliers across the UK and Europe.